back for more Maple Story. Last where we left off, we had just leveled off at level five. We are now finishing the tutorial and we are moving on to the next part of the quest. And I think I already have this done actually. Equipping items. Do you like the equipment I picked out? Try it on. It's stylish and it boosts your stats. Double click the gear from the item window or drag it into the equipment window. Press E or U to check your equipment. Hopefully, this equipment will help you remember me. Promise me you'll wear it forever. Uh, no. So we have, uh, in the last episode, I equipped all of the uh, items currently. And... Whoop. As of right now, we still have a wooden club. But we got new uh, gear. We don't have new weapons, but we did get our relaxer chair. Beginner's guide. We got some potions. We've hotkeyed everything as well. So now, the town chief. I guess that's it. You're a true explorer now. I'm really, really gonna miss you. You are my first true friend. It's time for you to expand your horizons. Maybe someday I'll advance past Maple Island too. In the meantime, Find Lucas and Amherst. Chief Lucas will be waiting for you in Amherst just over to the right. So, let's go ahead and this is not Minecraft. This is Maple Story. What? Yep, Codex. Monster Codex cards. We do. Monster card sets. We will go over that. And a brief moment. There we go. Sometimes it takes me a second here. Alright. I want Chief Lucas and Amherst. Wow. Lucas, you had a new look from the last time I played. Holy crap. Town Chief. Well, look what the maple tree spit out. You worked with Mai, right? Consider yourself lucky. She's the most powerful person I ever met. Could use a bit of a confidence boost, though. Yeah. The text beneath your feet says, Your name is Ashley Wolfie too. Eh? Not as dapper and suave as Lucas. But we can all be me, stuck-up little snot. Jeez. Welcome, now Scram. Let me officially welcome you to Amherst, but I'm afraid you can't stay here. Wait, I can't? Unfortunately not. I mean, it's a great town, and the mushroom flavored coffee is amazing. Ugh. But it's not for you. How come? Amherst is for old folks like me. You have your whole life ahead of you. You have battles to fight, areas to explore, new people to meet, new foods to taste. Can I fight, explore, and meet new people here? Oh, we all got... All we got here are orange mushrooms and some pig. You can't get to level 250 fighting those. I can't. Not unless you want to slay... Three, I, I don't get it. You get less ex You get less experience for hunting weaker monsters. Eventually, when you reach a certain level, you won't get any experience at all. Wait, leveling sounds difficult. It doesn't have to be. The trick is to fighting monsters near your level. And I can't do it if I stay on Maple Island. I think I can't. No. Good. Then let me give you this ticket so you can take a one-way trip off of this island and on to adventure. Thank you. Hand this ticket over to Vasily at the South Bay Harbor. He'll be the ferry. He'll be the one with the ferry. He'll ferry you over to Victoria Island and your real adventure can begin. Let's see if I can read today. Holy crap. Don't look so sad. I was kidding about the one-way thing. You can always come back to visit me and my. No! Alright. Again, this isn't Minecraft. Stop using WASND to move. Ay, 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 ay. Entrance to the Advanced Training Center. And 
There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Split Road of Destiny. Ooh. This is totally different. Warriors possess an enormous, an enormous power with stamina to back it up, and they shine the brightest in melee combat situations. Regular attacks are powerful to begin with, and armed with complex skills, the job is perfect for explosive attacks. Would you like to experience what it's like to be a warrior? Now, there will be a cutscene here. This is a warrior. Basically, that's the armor I may end up having. Um, but you can, as an explorer, quote-unquote, you have one of five classes to choose from. Warrior, bowman, thief, pirate, or magician. Now, hopefully, I can get it fixed to where Blessed and Icy can play and join me in a series eventually. Because I can see Blessed being a bowman and Icy being a mage. I really can't. And for some of the uh, later on quest, you may need a group of people. Self pairing. All right. Hi, Biggs. Bye, Biggs. Anytime you see one of these maple boxes, attack it. You may end up getting mesos. And mesos. If you look right here, meso, 19, yikes! I only have 19 meso, crap. Meso is the currency of Maple Story. Anytime you see this in the beginner's tutorial, get it, because you are definitely gonna need it. And then sometimes the boxes give you nothing. And unless these boxes are for a quest, like, give me meso! And that's an orange potion. Where is this fairy? Ah, here's where the fairy is. Alright. Here is Vasily. Welcome, now Scram. Ah, oh, the new explorer. You'll need a ticket to board. Rules are rules after all. Your ticket checks out. Wonderful. We have a quest. Not quite adventure time. It's free for beginner explorers to use the Sangra La, but we're still doing some maintenance on the ship. Mind waiting in town for a bit? Great. My must have taught you well. Girl, seriously amazing. Why don't you take a leisurely stroll around while we finish up here? And there is a quest book right here. I hate talking to strangers. Um, excuse me. Um, I can barely hear her. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Over here. Now, hang on, can we... We cannot level that up just yet. Uh, let us put... Uh, let's use two here. And let us use one here. Alright. Let's continue on with the quest! Oh no, I c c can't board without a boarding pass! Um, er, excuse me, er, this girl's too flusher to speak. Hi! What's up? I, I, I lost my boat ticket. The ticket to give to Victoria Island? I lost it. In a box. Somewhere nearby. I didn't want the boat to leave without me, so I was going to ask the captain to wait, but, but I'm too scared. The boat isn't going anywhere for a while, dear, and they wouldn't leave without me. I'll help you search for your ticket. R really? You'll help? Of course. My ticket's in a maple box, but there are so many boxes in South Perry. I, I don't know which one. Do you really think you can help me find my boat boarding ticket? Why is it so hard to, to talk to strangers? Alright. So essentially, 
We have to go back to town, find this ticket, and hopefully get to level 8. Level 8 is where you can become a mage. Level 10 is for everything else. Now, let's just start hitting boxes. Shouldn't be that hard. Wow, it isn't that hard. Look what we found. Yay! So awesome! Hi, sugar! Hi, sugs! Guess what I found? Alright. That's my, my ticket! But thank you, Ashy Wolfie. Now I can board the boat. Look, I think the captain is ready to depart. Ready to sail. Now's not a good time. I've got a situation. What's wrong? I haven't the foggiest notion how this happened, but there are monsters on board. Say, you're an explorer. Think you can, you know, take care of them? Great. Just hop up those stairs over there to get the monsters. Oh, great. I'll let you on board. Go defeat the monsters rampaging my ship! Eliminate Manu. Now I can show you how to use. You hold shift and you can attack from far away with your three snails attack. However, it uses your mana. Really? Really? No! Mm. Oh crap, I forgot to hit my home button. Okay. And home. Home. Thank you. Let's try this again, shall we? Yes. Alright. Where are you, you bugger? Mano, where are you? I thought... Ah. Okay, we're gonna take this a different way. Yay! Quest complete! Ready to sail? Man, I am a derby wolfie. Bark, bark, growl! Alright. Ready to sail! Pre completion enabled. Hey, you really did it! Let me just sort of out a few things with the ship first, then we'll go. Can we just go already? Hop on! Let's boogie down down to Victoria Island! For real this time! Woohoo! Thanks to you, we're ready to set sail! You ready to board? Of course I am! Okay. We have another quest here. A strange explorer. Hey! Cow! What are you doing here? Hello! Cow! It's me, Tess. Hey, babe. It's been a long time. I really need to talk to you. Cow, really? What brings you here? Man, you haven't changed a bit. Listen, uh, Tess, is it? You've uh, got the wrong person. My name is Ashy Buffy. Very funny, Cow, but don't mess with me. I mean it. I'm not in the mood. I'm not messing with you. I'm not Cow. I've never seen you before in my life. I uh, just got here myself. Are you... Are you serious? You're really not, Cal? I'm really not. Sorry. My bad, my bad. But I swear you two look exactly alike. Seriously. Sorry about that. My mistake. Thanks for helping me earlier. I'm Sugar. 
You d defeated the monsters, and you really helped me out, too. Ashy Wolfie, you seem r ready to pick a job. Did you decide which one you wanted? Yes, warrior. Huh? Job? There are five different explorer jobs. You could advance to them on Victoria Island. Hmm. I think they were warrior, magician, bowman, thief, and pirate. What are they like? Let's see. Warriors have great strength and defense, so they are excel at close range combat. Magicians use magic, so they favor intelligence over power, and they're good at long range combat against multiple enemies. But bowmen are also good at long range combat. They shoot arrows from afar and can keep enemies at a distance. And let's see. These are close range like warriors, but they focus on speed instead of strength. Okay. Finally, pirates are, well, pirates. Some use their fists in close range combat, others shoot guns or cannons from afar. Their attacks are pretty fancy. Either way. If you pick your job right now, the captain, the captain offered to contact your new job instructor as soon as we pull into harbor. So, which job do you want? Warrior. Oh, t t totally, Ashy Wolfie. You'll make a great warrior. Ashy Wolfie, should I be a magician if you're going to be a warrior? I'm weak, but maybe with magic, I can help others. Here I come! The ship is ready to set sail. So, we are hopefully going to adventure a little bit. Did we sail off? I'm like, did we sail off? Oh, this is a cool cutscene! This never happened when I was playing! Wow! This is so cool! And this is their red expansion, I take it. I wonder if we can escape this. No. Oh, but this is so cool. Oh, they're so cute! Chibis! Chibis! <laughs> And pirates! Bang, bang, bang! And I think that's a thief? Yeah, that looks like a thief. That is so cool. Mage, thief, bowman, warrior, pirate. Oh, wow. This has changed. Oh, it's the Balrog. Yes! I can't wait to face him. I have not played this in forever, ladies and gentlemen. So this is going to be awesome when I try it. Oh, wow. Nexon has done amazing with Maple Story. It's been years since I've played this. So, playing this, and I cannot escape this, so. I cannot escape this cutscene, so that's why I'm talking over it at the moment. Warrior! Defeated the ball rock. That'll be me. That'll be me. Oh, wow. This is. There's the Black Mage. Oh wow, this is going to be so freaking awesome. I can't wait, no, I can't wait. I can't wait, let me be a, let me be a warrior. Once we get to Maple Island, wow, I see land. Yes, I see land as well. So, you are the person my recommended. You seek to become a warrior, am I right? I am Dances with Balrog, the warrior job instructor. I instruct newcomers in the ways of battle. How much do you know about warriors? Warriors have great strength and high HP. They face their enemies up close with powerful attacks. Sounds fun, right? You'll look like you are more than you look like you are more than qualified if you wish to become a warrior. I welcome you. You wish to become a warrior. If you accept, I will use my power as a job instructor to bring you to the warrior sanctuary in Perrin right away. There are still paths for you, even if you change your mind, and I will help you if you do. Let's do warrior, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's, let me show you guys something. This is Fangblade. You click on Fangblade. Hello, I am Fangblade, and I am level 200. Before the level 250 cap, you were only able to get to level 200. And when you got to level 200, no matter what job you were, you got immortalized like this. 
Fang Blade, I remember, was around when I played, and that was back before the 30 classes. He was epic. I ran into him once, and he helped me so much with the game. So, before we end the episode, let's finish this quest. Job Advancement. Level 10, Warriors of Perrin. I am glad to see you here in person. If you are ready, I will declare you a warrior. There will be no going back. So now, now that you have become a warrior, you will become much more powerful. Try out your new strength and skills. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Your stats should be more appropriate for a warrior. Also, for warriors, strength is the main stat and dexterity is the secondary stat. If you don't follow, try using the auto assign function. In celebration of you becoming a warrior, I increased your inventory space. Gather strong weapons and equipment and push your limits. By the way, it's important that you not fail in battle now. If you do, you'll lose a little of the experience you've accumulated, and it's not a pleasant experience. This is all I can teach you for now. Take up your weapon and train hard. So this is exactly what I mean by you're going to be in your stats and your skills an awful lot. Again, stats, you just hit S. Skills, you just hit K. If you use the auto assign feature, it's automatically going to put all 23 points into strength. However, there are some warrior items like armor and swords that require dexterity. So here's what I do. Come on. I usually level up dexterity every five levels. And I could be doing this wrong, and if you're an experienced Maple player, let me know. But I usually leveled up dexterity every five levels, and then I auto-assign the rest into strength. Because it is a main stat. Now, with the skills, however, this is a little bit different. You have Iron Body, which is your defense. War Leap, which is you can jump in the battle to use your Slash Blast. Now, I have five, so let's go one, two, three, four, and then let's level up Slash Blast again. Five. Now, I'm going to exchange my skills because we're going to be using these a lot. Iron body, and I don't think you can... Okay, I don't think you can uh, hotkey war leap. So, pretty much that right there, ladies and gentlemen. We are now a level 10 swordsman. So, ladies and gentlemen... With that being said, this is the end of the second episode of Maple Story. We will become a awesome and epic warrior throughout the series. Uh, in the next episode, we will be taking some of these quests that are over here. We will be looking at what the events are. We will also be looking at what we have to do next. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again for joining me. If you guys like what you see, please click that like button. It lets me know you guys are loving this series just as much as I'm loving this game. If you guys love what you see on the channel overall, please, please, please click that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Thank you again, and until next time, be you. Don't change who you are, and I will see you right back here for more Maple Story. Bye for now, guys.